sucks. Filming alone, which is something that I do a lot on this channel and I know a lot of my fellow content creator friends also do the same. But what if I didn't have to be alone filming while technically still being alone filming? What? Well, that is where the Hover Air X1 Pro Max comes into play. It is an all-in-one videographer for solo creators, and it will follow you no matter what shot you're trying to get, and it'll do it all in 8K. But does it actually follow you, and does it actually get 8K footage? Well, let's find out. As you saw in the beginning, this is the Hover Air X1 Pro Max. Now let's very quickly see what it comes with. All right, this is everything that the Hover Air X1 Pro Max comes with. And just for you nerds out there, I'm gonna put on screen the weight and the specs of this drone. <sighs> Okay, so now that we know what it comes with and what it claims to do and have built in to this little drone here, let's go test it out in the real world and see if it actually can live up to the hype. Now, setup was super easy. All you gotta do is download the app. After that, you'll open up the app and then you'll tap to activate slash connect to the drone. To do that, all you gotta do is hold the button down until it turns green. You'll hear that noise and then you'll click connect. Now, inside the app, you've got about 12 different modes, so I'm not sure if we're gonna go through every single one of them in this video, but we're definitely gonna go through the ones that I think are the coolest. Now, you can switch between the modes right up here on this little arrow out. Follow. All right, so we're gonna test out the follow mode, which is something that I've been super excited to test out, and I wanted to do it first, because if it can't even do this, then I'm not that excited about this product, but if it can, I'm very, very excited. All I gotta do is press the button once. Middle, follow. And now it's gonna take off after it does the little Mario Kart sound. Boom, and now it should be able to follow me wherever I go. It seems to be keeping up pretty well. All right, we're gonna go for a little bit of a jog. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a challenge right here. All right, let's run back. And then stop. And then it just stops, and then to get it to stop, you just put your hand under it, and it turns right off. <laughs> I can't believe that worked that well. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, let's try a different mode. So over from follow, we can go to orbit, which means that it's gonna do a 360 pan of me. So there it goes. <laughs> so there it goes. <laughs> All right, 360 orbit was pretty cool. Next up, let's try bird's eye, which I'm assuming is going to record me from really high up. We're just gonna go right over here in this open field to make sure that we don't, you know, lose our drone on the first day. So it's gonna go 16 feet above me. That was pretty cool. I feel like that would look really epic on like a mountain or something, not just like a baseball field in the middle of Austin, Texas, but that's a cool mode. All right, so those are some of the different modes that this thing has, and already I'm pretty impressed. This is kind of like my dream drone, especially as a solo creator who is often out filming by myself. But even when I'm with friends, it's cool not to have to ask somebody to hold a camera. So this is already really cool. Now next, I really want to put it to the test. So I'm going to run it through some trails, and then I'm going to skateboard with it, because if this can keep up with me skating and running through trails, this is like the perfect filming companion, bot, friend, whatever you want to call it. So let's go run.
is going to conclude the testing portion of this. We ran with it, we skated with it, we biked with it, we used objects in our path, we didn't use objects in our path. It was also pretty windy, especially for the bike video portion of this, which was really impressive that this kept up with all the wind. Cause I don't know if you could tell, but it is super windy today. But having said all that, how good did this drone do? Well, I wanna go through some pros and some cons slash things you may consider if you're gonna buy this drone. And let's start with the pros. Now, pro number one, none of these are in any particular order, but number one is the speed. Online, it says this thing can get up to 37 miles per hour. I tested it on my e-bike at about 20 to 22 miles per hour, and it kept up fine, and that was with a ton of wind. The gimbal inside of this thing was really great, which is kind of another pro, the gimbal itself. It does really well, especially when there's no wind, but even with wind, I think it did pretty well. Next pro up is the filming quality of this thing, because at the beginning of the video, I was filming in 4K, and then when I got to skateboarding, I switched to 8K, and it's been in 8K ever since, which to me, for a self-following drone that's gonna be doing a lot of extra shots and a lot of future videos that I'm gonna make, this is a very important feature that I'm super glad that it has. Next pro up is probably pretty obvious to you, but it's the following feature. It's got a lot of different modes built in that work around this feature, and all of them, from what I can tell, work really, really well. Second from the last pro is the ease of taking off the footage and just overall app quality. I love the app that comes with this. I think it does a really good job pairing and making it just super easy to connect, get your footage off. All you gotta do is go to the little like map interface, which by the way, looks super cool. And then you'll just click on the hover media part of it and then it'll show you all the media and you can transfer it onto your phone. And then the very last feature that I wanted to mention was the sound quality. I don't know if you noticed it, but on the earlier clips where I had the sound turned on for this, you could tell from the GoPro sound that you could hear this thing hovering. But this has built-in technology to basically mask that sound and only pick up your voice, which I think works pretty well because it almost sounded like I had a lapel on my shirt when I was running through that park at the baseball field. Sound. Boom. And All right, so that works. And now we're gonna just walk with it. I would be remiss if I didn't mention some of the cons of this little drone. And I don't know if you would necessarily even call them cons, but really just things to be aware of if you end up buying this little hover robot. I'm not gonna call it a drone anymore. It's gonna be a hover robot now. So first con or thing to consider when buying this is that its flight time is 16 minutes. It's not gonna be able to fly over that with one continuous video. But honestly, I don't think that's that bad because with the GoPro, this thing overheats in like 15 minutes. So technically you can't even really film with a regular camera for that long in a continuous film. So I don't know, maybe I should even move this to the pro list. Now, second con is that I noticed that when skateboarding, some of the skateboarding situations when I would skate super fast and really fastly abruptly change directions, like basically on that big quarter pipe in the ditch, sometimes this thing got a little confused. Now that could have been just the mode that I was on because I was just on the general follow mode, but it would just stop and lose me. And then it just stops where it's at whenever it can't find you. So that was kind of a con for me because in skateboarding I'm doing a lot of turns but if you're doing one continuous line like the one that I showed you earlier on in the video it's gonna work perfectly fine this just might not be the drone for you if you're gonna do really fast turns but again I'm gonna have to try out some of the other modes because maybe they do better with these really fast turns I'll keep you guys updated in some future YouTube shorts and future videos now, that's really all my cons for this thing or things to consider because overall I think this is a really great little hover robot drone thing I should be transparent, Hover Air, or rather Zero Zero Robotics did send me this to review, but as I tell every company that sends me a product to review, I'm not gonna give them a straight up good review or bad review. I'm literally going to review it as hardcore as I can and give my honest opinion. And my honest opinion is that this Hover Air is amazing. <laughs> I'd also like to mention that you saw skateboarding in this video, and if you're at all interested in skateboarding, I have my own full skateboarding channel that I just launched called Eric Skateboards. I'll link that down below as well. So if you wanna go and check that out and subscribe over there, that would be super helpful if you're into skateboarding. And also the bike that you saw in this video, I did a full review on. So I'm actually going to throw that right up here so that you can go check that out next. And lastly, I have a book if you wanna check it out. It's called The Very Strange Universe of Dr. Natalia Zeal. It's a sci-fi book. It deals with robots. It deals with outer space and all sorts of cool sci-fi elements. So go and check that out. That's linked below as well. I'm Eric and this is Eric's Tech World. Thank you so much for watching this video with me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Let's go fly you some more. Ugh.